operatives of the Department of State Service, DSS, has stated that they are still investigating the mobile phones seized from pro-democracy campaigner and human rights activist Omoyele Showare from as far back as August 2019. Showare, the publisher of Sahara Reporters, had instituted a suit against the DSS to compel the agency to return its phones seized since August 2019 when he was first arrested. The case came up on Wednesday before Justice Anwuli Chinkere of the Federal High Court Abuja. In the opening statement by Showaress lawyer, pardon, Mrs. Fomi Falano, she prodded the DSS lawyer on the illegality of the seizure. The DSS lawyer rambled away while trying to explain why the lawless organization known for human rights violation could not provide a valid court order that led them to the seize, you know, to seize the phones and take 10,000 Naira from his hotel room during his adoption in August 2019. The DSS told Justice Chinkere that the phones were recovered during his arrest and not seized. The DSS added that the phones are still being investigated for links to terrorism. Two lawyers from the Ministry of Justice also argued that they were raising parliamentary objection to the lawsuit because Showare was undergoing trial before another federal judge. Palano, however, faulted the positions while informing the judge that apart from not obtaining a court order to see the phones, the government had also refused to return the phones and monies despite entreaties. She further stated that the judge sheet, that is the charge sheets, pardon, produced in court did not state that the phones were part of the evidence before the federal judge. She urged the judge to dismiss the preliminary objections and order the return of Showare's phones as well as pay 20 million naira in damages of the applicants. Every damages pay, you know, done to the applicants should be paid a ransom of two, you know, 20 million naira, pardon. Justice Chikere adjourned the case for ruling on December 28, 2021. December 8, pardon, 2021. Sahara reporters had, on December 24, 2019, reported that though the DSS released showery following an order by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, son, official of the secret police field to return his mobile phones, apparently, in an attempt to monitor his communication and deprive him of important content stored on the devices. Showare was first arrested on August 3rd, 2019, for failing, you know, for calling pardon on Nigerians to take to the streets in peaceful demonstrations to demand a better country from the government. He was, you know, he had remained in detention, pardon, until December 5th, 2019, when he was briefly released on bail. On December 6th, he was rearrested inside the Federal High Court, Abuja, by the DSS operatives and was kept in custody until Tuesday, December 24, 2019, when Malami gave the latest release order. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction 
to this current situation of things, the DSS operatives of Nigeria has been known for lawlessness and human rights violations. Operatives of the Department of State Service have stated that they are still investigating the mobile phones seized from pro-democracy campaigner and human rights activist Omoyele Showore from as far back as August 2019. Showore, the publisher of Sahara Reporters, has instituted a suit against the DSS to compel the agency to return his phones seized since August 2019 when he was first arrested. What is your thoughts to this? We are still investigating Showore's phone for links with terrorism. That is what the secret police DSS have told the federal judge. Who would like you to let us know your thoughts to this? Who would like you to share on point of view with us via the comment section? But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts to this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Samuel Ohai reacted to this and said, Useless and directless DSS. These people are nothing but mad people. What is your thoughts to this? Iwolo De Aziz Adelani reacted also and said, What kind of country is this? Gumi is free. But Shoare, who has been advocating for good governance, is not. Hapa. Where are we going to in this country? Different reactions from different people condemning the activities of the DSS. Shoare is being disturbed. Someone who has been advocating for good governance is being disturbed, arrested so many times. Whereas Gumi, who has been dialoguing with bandits, going into their hideouts, coming back to give Nigerian government the feedback, soliciting amnesty for the bandits, is not being arrested, not even invited for interrogation by the DSS. And we said we are having a law in Nigeria. We say we respect fundamental human rights. We say we are working according to the rule of law. We say we practice democracy. Tell me, where are all these things, you know, in a country that practice democracy? What is your thoughts to this? Chuma Nelson reacted also and said, Mad people everywhere. Incompetent sets of people. For how many months you are still investigating Shoare's phones for links with terrorism? Since 2019, since December 2019, you are still investigating phone. What is your thoughts to this? The DSS operatives of Nigeria are, you know, truly the terrorists in this country because their activities are not clean, their ways are not pure, and their hands are no, you know, their hands are not white. That's what people are saying. Remy Ogunleye said, nonsensical waste of valuable time and resources there are secret service they are not the department of state service they are there are secret service that's what remy Ogunleye have said because they are working contrary against to the wish of the nigerian citizens but they are working to police the man of daura castina state who is the president of nigeria who would like you to let us know your thoughts to this don't forget that we are still investigating showbread's phones for links with terrorism. That's what the secret police, DSS, have told the federal judge, of which people are saying, still investigating phones for how many months? Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.